There is a new tarantula growth and feeding app out now on Android and iOS, and we're gonna check it out. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and if you enjoy videos about tarantulas and other invertebrates and exotic pets, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button so you don't miss any new videos in the future. First off, I wanna say that this video is not sponsored by this app. In fact, it's the opposite. I am a sponsor of this app. Now, over the years, I have compiled a list of goals, things that I want to either develop or make or you know, just milestones I wanna reach. When I started the Tarantula Collective a little over three years ago, I wanted to focus a lot on building a YouTube channel, making a website where people could find helpful information, along with a lot of other things related to the tarantula hobby. Near the top of that list, one of my goals was to develop an app that will help you track your tarantula's growth. There were a few apps out there, but they were a little overcomplicated, had a lot of bugs, and I used them, but I would get really frustrated when all of my information would be deleted after an update. And even though I had it backed up, sometimes it just wouldn't load everything in there and work like it had before. So after losing all my information a couple of times, I just said, forget it. I'm not using these apps anymore. But as I looked into building an app, like I realized I have no idea how to do this. It takes a lot of knowledge and a lot of work. So I kept pushing that further down the list. That way I could focus on other goals that were a lot easier to achieve. So I was very stoked when I got an email a few months back from this guy named Michael telling me that he had been working on developing an app where you could track your tarantula's growth, feeding schedules, molds, as well as get easy access to care guides and other information that you would need for keeping tarantulas. He was actually reaching out to me to give my permission to use some of my videos and care guides in his app. Now, Michael built this from scratch. I had nothing to do with it. It was all his hard work, but it was serendipitous. I had a vision in my head of a type of app I wanted to build, and he's off completely unrelated, doing an almost the exact same thing. So I can't take any credit for this app, but I do really like it, and I highly recommend it, and I wanted to share it with you all. When he first showed me the app, I was really impressed with what he had so far and was more than happy to let him use my content to help provide people with information. I can't and won't take any credit for this app because that was all Michael's hard work. But I am proud and excited to be the official sponsor of this very useful tool. Now the app is available for free both in the Google Play Store and the Apple iOS App Store. And just so we're clear, I don't make any money off you downloading or using this app. I don't get any referrals or affiliate bonuses, but I really like the project and I wanna support what they're doing. And contribute as much content as I can. So I highly recommend that you download this app and try it out for yourself. But before you rush over to the App Store and download it onto your phone, I'm gonna quickly show you what the app looks like, how it works, and do a quick review and tutorial so you can see exactly why I am so stoked. So let's get into it. All right, so let's check out this app. It's called Arachnophiles. It'll take just a second to load up. First thing you see is the home screen. At the very top, you got a link to my channel, and then any news or updates or anything that you need to know will be listed right there on the front. The next option right next to the home button is a little tarantula icon. That is for my tees. We'll get back to that in a second. Then next, you've got the care guides. There are a whole bunch of different species there. And you just select one, and you can see it has the genus, the species, the common names, sizes, what type of urticating hairs, all that information. Essentially, everything that I have in my videos or listed in the care guides on my website, uh, he's implemented into this app. So it's got all that information that you need right at your fingertips. Next to that is a wish list where you can add any teas that you maybe see in one of my videos or you see in a Facebook group or some photos on Instagram and you don't want to forget it. So you just hit that little green add button in the corner, go to arachnid type, It'll ask you if you want a scorpion or a spider. We'll say spider. It'll ask for the genus. You can go through, pick what genus you like. We'll say a fauna pelma. The species, you got all kinds of different species in here. Probably more species are in the app than are actually available in the hobby. So we'll say Calcodes. You can enter in the common name if you want. Uh, we'll say Arizona Blonde. And then world type. So I'm assuming that would be either new world or old world. So that's a new world tarantula. And then just hit add, and there it is. It's saved into your wish list. So you can have a list of spiders that you want to add to your collection that you just don't have the time or money or room for right at this moment. And then next to the wish list, the final icon along the bottom is the supplies. And there you can find decorations, enclosures, different substrates, 
and useful things. You can go to all, it's got all kinds of stuff in there, all kinds of different enclosures, watering dishes, I mean, you name it, you need it for a tarantula, it's in here, and he's updating this constantly, so I'm sure there'll be a lot more items added to this store in the near future. Before we get into the best part of the app, I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Zilla Footwear. Zilla Footwear provides cool, creative shoes for lovers of exotic pets. All their high and low top shoes are made from full canvas, double-sided print with rounded toe construction and lace-up closure for a snug fit. Inside is a layer of soft textile lining with light lightweight construction for maximum comfort, and a high quality EVA outsole for traction and exceptional durability. Now they sent me a pair of their Tarantula high top shoes in black and I really love wearing them. But they also have a lot of different patterns from frogs to snakes, geckos to turtles, and all kinds of other reptiles and exotic pets. So use the affiliate link in the description and pinned comment under this video and get yourself a pair. There is also free shipping for all orders over $120 and they ship worldwide. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can get yourself a pair of these unique and comfortable sneakers. But let's go back to the main feature of this app, and that is where you can track your tarantula's growth and feeding. Now again, this is under the My Tees icon, and at first it says, looks like your collection is empty, let's add something to it. Just hit the add icon in the top right corner and add your first arachnid to your arachnid collection. So that would be this little button right up here. We'll tap that, and first thing is uh, it wants you to add an image. So we'll select that little add image button. It opens up your, uh, your just all the different galleries and stuff of anywhere you have pictures saved in your phone. And let's see, I think I got a lot of tarantulas in this folder. So I'm gonna scroll through. Oh, this is a good picture right here. And then you just kind of select the framing of your tarantula. You crop that in, arachnid type. Uh, this is a spider genus. Oh, we're gonna go down and choose Gramostola. A species would be Polcropes, right there. Common name, you can enter that in if you want. We'll say Chaco Golden Knee. Given name, if you wanna name your spider, we'll call it Greg. I, I don't know. World type. That would be a New World Tarantula. World location, uh, we'll say Argentina. A date acquired, so you select that, it opens up a uh, calendar for you. Uh, we'll just say today. Purchased from, uh, we'll say Micro Wilderness. Sex, if you know what gender your tarantula is, we'll say female, wishful thinking, but there's male and unknown available. Dwelling type, that would be terrestrial, uh, but you can see there's fossorial, semi-arboreal, and arboreal options available also. Venom potency, low, mild, strong, or potent, we'll say low. Temperament, mine is pretty chill. And look at that, the chill is up there. You got chill, happy, neutral, upset, or angry. So we'll say chill. Lifestyle, life stage, uh, we'll say, well mine's an adult, so we'll put that there, and then we'll hit done. Now this creates a cool looking card, so it has your tarantula on there, all the information that you need, uh, but then when you select that, it'll open it up and you can see even more detail. But there's a little red disc icon down here. If it's red, that means that you haven't saved it yet. It doesn't automatically save, and this is something he really wanted me to make sure everybody knows. Maybe in a future update, he'll have it set up to where it will automatically save, but right now, if you see the red save icon, that means it's not saved, so if you back out, you're gonna lose all the information you just put in there. So we will hit that, and then it turned from red to green, so now I know that it is saved and locked in. Uh, but when I select on that, I can just pull up all that information at any time. Now the cool thing is, is once you have it saved, you can go in and add even more information, like what temperature are you keeping it at? Uh, we'll say 72 degrees Fahrenheit. You can put in what your humidity is. Uh, right now in my basement, I keep it right around 55% humidity. Feeding frequency. How many days do you want to wait in between feedings? Uh, you can put that in there, like every three days, every seven days, every 14 days. How many days after a multi feed? And then here you can add up to the last 12 feedings. So you put in what date it is. So we'll say today, uh, we gave my tarantula some crickets. 
Uh, we'll say we gave her four. Uh, any notes, like she was really active and ate them right away or she didn't seem very interested, you could put that in there. Hit done and it'll save it onto that graph. And then you can also do the same thing with measurements. You can put in what date it was, how many inches, you know, if it molds or something like that, you're able to get a measurement of it. Put in the average temperature, the average humidity, save that. So it'll also take a, it'll make a graph of how fast your tarantula is growing. And then you can add things uh, anytime you rehouse a tarantula, you can add that in there. If you change its substrate, if it's in pre-mold, so you're not feeding it, you, you can, or if it goes into pre-mold, you can go ahead and switch the in pre-mold to yes, and that way you know you don't need to feed that one. And then passing, so that is if your tarantula were to die. You can save the tarantula even if it's passed away. Very cool, we'll hit that save button again. It turned green so I know everything is locked into place. And one of my favorite aspects is, it's if you like collecting cards, it's kind of the same thing. So I'm just going to add a couple more real quick. Now I didn't put in any of the information, I just wanted to put the pictures in here so I can show you this cool little feature. But you can kind of swipe through your tarantulas. It almost looks like trading cards. You can kind of swipe through and see what it is. But you can also search. If you hit this little button up at the top, uh, you can go look at it from species, uh, from common names, or through genus. And then this little red person icon down here is to sign up for arachnophiles. Put in your email, create a username and password, and that way all your information will be saved. And if you get a new phone or you lose your phone or anything like that, you can download the app, log in, all that information will be back on your new phone. So this is a really cool app. I like it, I think you're gonna enjoy it as well. It's made by Tarantula Keepers for Tarantula Keepers and there's no weird tracking software or you know, just, you can read the privacy policy but nobody's trying to like mine your data or track your website usage or anything like that. It's a good app, it's very intuitive, very, I love the user interface. So head over to your app store or the Play Store or whatever kind of phone you have, search for Arachna Files. So try it out, leave a comment down below, let me know what you you think and it's again it's a new app so there's a lot of features that will be added further on down the road well as always i appreciate you watching subscribe if you want to see more thanks for buying tarantula collective merchandise and i will see you next tuesday <laughs>